Hi guys, so I'm in a kind of a poor section of Long Island. It's called Hempstead, New York. And I was had to run an errand in this side of town. And I was passing and I saw a lot of people sit out on their sidewalks. And it's a lot of um, urban, I guess, inner city urban. And I saw this group of black guys sitting out on the sidewalk. And a couple of them were eating. And then there was a guy out there with them in a wheelchair. And he had a paper bag. Looked like it might have had a can of beer in it. And he was trying to get a light, someone to light his cigarette for him. So it just, it broke my heart. So I found a Dominican restaurant. I'm going to go in there and buy him some food. And then I'm going to go to a quick stop or 7-Eleven and get him a pack of cigarettes and a beer. I can't help it. I, I have to do it. So this is a Dominican restaurant. She's got her big bowl of cornmeal, corn, white corn flour, make tortillas. So I got the potatoes and cheese for him, and now two pieces of chicken. Oh, look at that fish, y'all. <gasps> look at that with the head on it and the eyes. Mm, that chicken looks good there, too. And I got him the broccoli. Oh, what is that? Pineapple upside down? And then, oh, look at the street corn, y'all. Oh, that looks so good. And here are the salads. Oh, look at that purple salad. That's, that must be purple cabbage. Okay. Okay, so that dinner only cost me, it was $8.50 plus tax. So it came to $9.57. Okay, let's go see if we can find a 7-Eleven and get him some, some treats. Okay, so the cigarettes... <laughs> Were the most expensive. Twelve twelve seventy. Then I got him a twenty four ounce of Ford Loco Gold. Not sure what that is, but it the can is pretty, so I bought it. And a gold can. I mean the generic cool cigarettes were only a dollar less, so I figured well if I'm gonna treat him, I'm gonna treat him right with some new ports. Now let me see if I can find where he's at. Okay, I'm not sure he's going to want to be on camera, but if he wants to make a video with me, then we'll do that too. Said don't do it. What did he say? <laughs> what he, did say he didn't want to take a picture, but it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> he just got out of the hospital, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Are you happy? I need the bag. The bag. He wants a bag. <laughs> you want me to open it? <gasps> what is that? Oh, she's giving you cigarettes too. Oh, today you're your lucky day. Today is your lucky day. And look, I got you matches too. <laughs> Here, let me help you. Okay, I'll put your arm. Um, you hold the matches. I got you matches. You I got matches? I just soak. I can't use matches. I don't want to have a job. You don't have a job? I know. Times are hard. And then you had to meet associates. And then you had to associate with people. These are your associates? Yeah, but they're good people. They don't they're good. Me. This breaks my heart. Where 
Where does he sleep at night? Right there in his chair. Don't spill it. Don't spill it. You knocked it over. There, there's not a homeless shelter we can go to? No, he goes to the hospital at night. That's why he keeps that band on his arm? So I can find you here again another day? What are you doing? You're not thinking about with that. Okay, so Cal asked me for money for the bus, so I have two dollars. I have uh, three dollars in change, so I'll give him that. So I want to show y'all this area. This is called Hinstead, and then just a few miles. Down. I'm headed north, but a few miles south is what's called Uniondale. And this is called Garden City here. Look at the difference in guys. You go from ghetto, just one block over, and you'll see these mansions. And to, to think that that poor guy, his name is Cal, is in that wheelchair. He's disabled. He can't walk. One of his buddies there told me that he got hit by a car. And that's why his legs are like they are. To think that he's sitting there in that wheelchair and he sleeps in it. I asked the guys, I said, wait, is, isn't there a homeless shelter you can go to? So I asked Cal, I said, where do you live? And he said, I'm homeless. And um, God, I wish I had money to help, to help these people. It just breaks my heart. It just, oh. And here I am complaining about not having enough money to pay for my medicine and not having enough money for food. And, you know, this really, this really brings, brings you to your knees and it humbles you. And it makes me realize how fortunate I am. I have got to stop thinking about what I don't have and just be thankful for what I do have. I could be kind. I mean, I was in a horrible, horrible car crash in Pensacola, Florida, and broke my, all three bones in my right ankle. I couldn't walk. I was wheelchair bound for three months. And if not for my sweet and precious daughter, I could have been out on the street having to sleep in a wheelchair. And he had a, an armband on from the hospital. So I asked the guys, I said, you know, what does he do? Where does he go at night? And they said, well, he sleeps right here in that chair or he'll go to the hospital for the night and check in and stay overnight and then they release him the next morning. You know, this is just one, one instance. There are millions of people like this in America. Well, y'all say a, a little prayer for Cal. I feel good that I made him happy. He, he did knock his beer over and spilled about a fourth of it, but we got it up, and so he'll have his beer and his new ports. So. I know you're not supposed to, people are frown upon someone enabling someone with cigarettes and alcohol, but you know, that's people who live on the streets. That's what they turn to to soothe and to soothe their pain and, and agony. It's alcohol and cigarettes. So that's what he got, and he got a good a good meal. He didn't want to eat it then, but I made sure that there was some little plastic utensils in there. So he's got his chicken and potatoes and cheese and his broccoli. I hope he does eat it. So that's going to be my video. And if I if I was younger and could do it, I would have some type of street mission, be some type of street missionary. And have others. It just oh god, it broke my heart when I saw him. Just 
grow in my heart. Thank you guys for being here. Please subscribe if you're just passing through. And y'all, please just keep on coming back. And let's pray for all of these people in the world who we really have nothing. He absolutely has nothing. He doesn't even have a place on this wheelchair to put his feet.